Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. It's that time of the week, ROM of the week. Um, check out, uh, for those of you who want to run AOSP ROMs, but you want something more stable and you don't need all the customizations. Um, if you have a Sprint Verizon uh, or the GTI 9505, or if you have a, a older AT&T or Verizon um, where you rooted it before um, the bootloader got locked, you can go ahead and grab the Google Play Edition. Now this is uh, straight from Google, um, so you should have everything should be working. Um, so definitely a good deal. And uh, I've got the Verizon version here. These are ported. This one and the Sprint one I've got here. Um, they're both ported, uh, but uh, data works just fine. Uh, one of the things you you must watch out uh, when you first install it, it might default to 3G. The way to fix it is pretty easy. Um, go to mobile networks and then go ahead and change the preferred uh, network type to um, LTE, CDMA, EDVO, EVDO. Anything that has those three, you can use that or you can use that, um, both for Sprint and Verizon. For everyone else, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to set your APN. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to set APN, you can go ahead uh, and check out the link on my site. I'll have the um, link to the APN settings. Other than that, you'll get the latest Android 4.4.4. I'm looking pretty good. And uh, also does come with a custom kernel. Uh, Ktoon says kernel, which is very nice kernel. Um, or actually, not this one, but it depends which version you're getting. Um, the GTI 9505 version has it. And uh, you'll find all the standard Android 4.4.4. It will literally make your S4 into uh, like a Nexus 5, pretty much, uh, stock Nexus 5. Uh, again, there's no bugs on this one because this is straight from Google, so everything should be working out of the box. Um, so definitely check it out, and I know some of you are looking for this, but you can go ahead and install it, again, on uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, uh, GTI 9505. Uh, it doesn't work on SafeStrap, again. If you have SafeStrap, a lock bootloader with AT&T or Verizon, then you cannot install this. I don't think so. Um, there are several versions on, on XTA. You may be able to uh, find those. There's some older ones, but for the 4.4.4, um, you can't install it. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And uh, yeah, do let me know what you think. This isn't my favorite ROM, uh, but uh, let's feature it since it's out there. And uh, you know, this is a, st a stock Google Android 4.4.4. ROM. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think. Uh, and as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS4root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay here on Android.